This is part four, and we're going to talk about not the soul of Jesus. We're going to talk about your soul and my soul. Amen. Did Jesus have a soul? Yes, yes he did. Yes. He said, my soul, he said, is sorrowful Amen. to the point of death. Amen. Did Peter have a soul? Yes, he did. Did Paul have a soul? Yes, he did. Did the apostles have souls? Yes, they did. Do I have a soul? Of course I do. Do you have a soul? Yes. And he was no different than we, even though the devil wants to convince you that he was. Well, the Bible says we're born of his bone and flesh of his flesh. So when you get that thought from your soul that he was different, you just need to rebuke that devil in Jesus' name. I know it's hard to believe that your soul can be the devil, but it is when it comes again against God's word. Amen. Amen. So we are born of his bone and flesh of his flesh. We are exactly like him. We may not act like him sometimes. We may act like the devil and criticize and fight and hate and think evil thoughts in our heart, but that's not who we are. The new nature is Christ in us, amen? amen? And the only way you can get the new nature to really flow through you and understand is by understanding your soul, amen? Now, do we need a soul? Of course we do. Amen. Of course. Amen. Because the soul has to touch it, see it, hear it, smell it, and feel it, you know? Of course you need a soul. You, gotta, you need a soul to function. But we don't allow our soul to... Uh, take over the body so it won't let the Holy Spirit do its will. Amen. 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 And that's the problem. There's God doesn't have a problem with the soul. The only time it's a problem is when the Holy Spirit speaks to you and your soul says, well, I don't know about that. Amen. Amen. How are we going to do that? Amen. Amen. What? And when your soul starts thinking that way and coming against the Christ in you, then God has a problem. Amen. Amen. I'm going to teach you five ways to monitor your soulish activity. Amen. Amen. Five ways to monitor your soulish activity. Amen. Give me A under point number one, please. Amen. First Corinthians says, but the natural man, notice I put on in parentheses, the soulish. All right. But the soulish man, but the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God. Whoa! And you looked at me kind of funny when I said that your soul was of the devil. Amen. The soul is anti-Christ. Right. Amen. The soul doesn't subject to anything of the Spirit. Amen. Paul says it. But the natural or the soulish person does not receive the things of the Spirit of God. Be pleased. For they are what? Mm, good Lord. You think that's why half the church is missing tonight? Because they said it's foolish to go on Wednesday tonight? Amen. 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 They are foolishness. Amen. This is the soulish man. They are foolishness to him. That stuff don't make any sense. Why do I have to go to church? I believe in God. Amen. Well, so does the devil, my friend, and he's headed straight to hell. Amen. Help me somebody. Amen. But they are foolishness unto him, and it says, nor can he or it, it should be it, not he, should be it, nor can it know them because they are spiritually discerned. Amen. Bishop's note, that's me, my, my, my note, only discernible in relationship with the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Amen. Well, number one, you must believe. We're talking about five ways to monitor your soulish activity. Amen. You must believe. He said, I got to believe this. Yes, you must believe that your soul does not receive the things of the Spirit of Yahweh. All your trouble this week 
We may say it was the devil, and it, it could have been. But somebody opened the door. Right. Amen. Somebody opened the door. Amen. And who opened the door? The soulish man. The soul. Amen. Why? Because the soul, the soulish man, the natural man, he can't understand the things of God. They're just foolishness. It's just a waste of time Amen. to pray and read and sacrifice and give and, and, and walk in the spirit and believe in Jesus and believe in God. And the, all that is just knowledge crazy, man. And you must believe that your soul does not receive the things of the spirit of Yahweh. Okay? Amen. So that's the one way to deal with your soul. Amen. All right? Amen. Okay. Give me A under point number two, please. Bible says in the book of Hebrews, for the word of God is what? Alive. <laughs> All right? Or living. Okay? Amen. And active. All right? Amen. Or active. The Word of God is alive and active and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of the soul and the spirit. Amen. So what does the Word of God do? It pierces. It divides your spirit and your soul. Amen. 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 So, well, why would I want that to happen? Well, that way you don't listen to your soul thinking that it's your spirit. Amen. Amen. That way you don't listen to your soul thinking it's God speaking to you. Amen. God doesn't speak to your soul. God doesn't speak to dirt. Amen. Amen. Somebody help me. Amen. God speaks to himself when he has put the Holy Spirit in you. He speaks to that. Amen. Notice this. Amen. So the word of God is alive. It's active. That's why a lot of people don't read the word. That's why a lot of people don't want to hear the word. But it's alive and active. What does it do? It pierces the soul and the spirit. It separates it. Amen. And the last thing your soul wants is for you to separate it. Because then you'll figure out what it's doing. Amen. Oh, somebody help me. Amen. 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 Look at this. Piercing even the division of the soul and spirit, the joint and the marrow, and able to judge the thoughts and intents of the heart. Amen. People who fall into sin, all they need to do is read the word and allow it to cut them, and the word will tell them, no, you're deceiving yourself. Stop doing that. Amen. Amen. How many times have you said that to yourself? Man, I can't believe. I knew it. I knew it, but I still did it. Amen. And the Word of God will do that. It will separate. It will cut so that it judges the intents of the heart. That's right. Okay. Amen. Be pleased. He answered, speaking to the devil. It is written, man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Okay? Man shall not live by bread alone. Man does not live upon the natural stuff. Bread is the natural. Amen. Bread is from the dirt. Amen. And where does your soul come from? The dirt. dirt. <laughs> I know you don't like that. <laughs> but it does. Because when you die, it goes to the dirt. Amen. Now your spirit goes to God. Amen. Or the devil, I don't know which way it's going to go. But your soul is going to go back into the dirt, from out of the dirt it came from. Right. The brain, the mind, the soul, the emotions. Amen. Amen. He says, no, he says, man cannot only live by dirt alone, but man should live by the word that proceeds out of God. Hallelujah. All right, give me C, please. Psalms 119. Your word have I hid in my heart, that I may not sin against thee. That's right. Amen. Psalms 119. Amen. I said to this person in my office, are you sure you just don't like to sin? No. He said, no, I just keep on falling in the same hole. I said, well, why? Maybe you like it. No, don't say that, Bishop. I said, well, stop sinning. Amen. Mm, help me. Amen. 
Oh, Lord Jesus. Point number two. The second way you, you can deal to monitor your soul, your soulless activity, is reading the word of Yahweh faithfully will help you separate your soulish thoughts from your spiritual ones. Amen. Reading the word of Yahweh faithfully. Faithfully. Will help you separate. Come on, help me now. Amen. Will help you separate your soulish thoughts from your spiritual ones. Okay, where is God speaking here? What's going on here? Amen. And when you start reading it faithfully, because, why? Because the Word of God is active and sharper than it is, and it separates the soul and the spirit. Amen. Right. Amen. So as you're reading it, it's breaking that thing in half. It's separate, and then you're able to discern, oh, wait a minute, man. That's my soul. Amen. That's not the Holy Spirit. That's my soul. And I'm over here listening to my soul. And thinking that it's the Spirit of God. Amen. Oh, help me. Amen. But as you read faithfully, it will help you to separate those soulish thoughts right. Amen. from the spiritual ones that come from the Christ in you. Amen. 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 That's Amen. The second way of monitoring, monitoring what activity you have in your soul. Amen. Did you do that this week? Did you monitor? You said, wait a minute, why am I thinking that? <laughs> Why did I just get upset? Why do I feel negative? Yeah. You monitor? Yeah. Why do I feel like fecal? <laughs> Why do I, you know, well, everything's fine. I, you know, I just eat breakfast. I'm just eating lunch, dinner, watching TV. What, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. And the word of God will help you. Amen. 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 I was driving down this road some about a week ago in Macallan, and man, I was singing the songs of the Lord, and I was meditating on His word and thanking God. And, and I turned on this street to I was doing an errand, and I turned on this street, and all of a sudden I started <laughs> to feel gloom and depressed and negative, and you know, and. All these crazy negative thoughts started coming to me. And I said, I don't think so. Amen. No. No. Amen. I said, no. Amen. 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 But if you don't read the word of God, how is it going to separate your soul and your spirit? And how are you going to be able to discern right. which one it is? <laughs> That's why most people, they feel negative and they go, well, that's just the way I am. I'm a negative person. I'm sour, folks, man. I'm just sour. I ain't got nothing but a stupid car, a house, a stupid wife, a stupid kid. You know, I'm old, I'm going to die. I got nothing. Wow. Help me somebody. But as you read the word of God, notice it said faithfully. Now I understand that sometimes it's hard to... We'll read the Word of God faithfully. Man, there's so much Word on the radio. There's so much Word on the internet. You know, just good Lord, just turn it on the computer or something, you know, and yeah. hear it. There's yeah. even audio programs that you can hit a button and the whole Bible is audio. You know, yeah. read it yourself. Yeah. Somebody say amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 That's the second way of monitoring your soulless activity. Amen. Yeah. All right. Number three. Please, point number three. Faithfulness in prayer will help you monitor your soulish activity. Amen. Now there is a problem with prayer because most people think that prayer is asking. Boy, it is asking. Of course. Jesus said, you know, said, knock and you shall it will be open to you, seek and you shall find. Yeah, it is asking, but it's a little bit more than just asking. Right, You know? So it, it, You've got to understand that prayer is just not, okay, I'm gonna, okay, can you bless me with a good job and bless the kids and bless the dog and bless, oh, and by the way, in January, I mean, I mean in July when I go on vacation, it better not rain, please, in Jesus' name, because I'm going on vacation, all right? All right, amen. amen. Well, you can pray stuff like that, but it's more than that. 
And the beauty of the Lord Jesus is that he teaches us how to pray. But faithfulness in prayer will help you monitor your soul's activity. I pray every other day. Amen. Pray this morning. I'll pray again Friday. And then I'll pray Sunday. And I'll skip a day. Now, if the Lord tells me to pray every day, I'll pray every day. Right. Amen. 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 But I've done that before. And he said to me, I didn't tell you to pray every day. Amen. So you got to be careful that you don't start praying every day just to be spiritual. Amen. Right. Amen. And start bragging about how much you've been praying. You got to be careful that your soul doesn't get you fall into the trap. Amen. But I do that. I pray every other day unless otherwise spoken to me or unless he says to me pray in the, in the middle of the night and I will. But I pray every other day. And what that, help, what, what that helps me is, is that the day that I didn't pray, then I go back in prayer the next morning. And I'm like, whoa, that's the soul. Whoa, what's going on here? And you catch it. Amen. Amen. You start catching your soul. Amen. You start catching your soulish. You go, wait a minute, this is not the Lord. Or wait a minute, why was I thinking that? Or why did I, man, in Jesus' name. Amen. Prayer, faithfulness in prayer will help you monitor your soulish activity. Amen. Give me A under point number three. Jesus said, this is before he's crucified. He said, watch, and the Greek word means to give strict attention to, to be cautious, to be active. Amen. And what? And pray. Be it, pay attention. Be cautious. Give strict attention to and pray. Amen. That you do not enter into what? Into temptation. The word temptation means a test or a trial. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. Notice what he says. Be pleased. The spirit indeed is willing, and that word means ready. Your spirit is ready to pray. Amen. So why well, I haven't prayed in months because you've been listening to the soul. Amen. And the soul's telling you, what the hell pray about? They think things ain't gonna change anyway, stupid. So why are you, why are you wasting your time praying, stupid? Things ain't gonna change anyway. Why are you praying, stupid? It ain't gonna change anyway. Amen. Come on, help me now. Come on, help me now. The Spirit in did is waiting, the Spirit is ready! Christ in you is ready. The Holy Ghost in you is ready to enter into prayer. Whether every day or every other day or however the Holy Spirit speaks to you that you're supposed to be praying. He, it's ready. But notice what Jesus said. But the flesh, say, or the soul. Or the soul. That's the one that gave you hell today. Amen. That's why you're so happy. You notice you're so happy today? <laughs> <laughs> notice you're just beaming with, with joy and laughter today. You notice that? You notice that? Huh? 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 Would you notice that? You're just gushing. Because your soul gave you hell and you listen to it. Amen. Amen. So, well, what am I supposed to listen to? Not your soul. That's the world. That's the sinner. That's the one that's possessed by the devil. Amen. We don't walk to that beat of that drummer. We walk to the beat of the Holy Spirit. We are a new creation in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away and all things have become new. Amen. He said, but the soul is what? Weak. And the word weak in the Greek is sick. Feeble. Amen. Wow. But the Spirit is ready. And if you're going to monitor your soulish activity, you got to first, you need to understand this pumpkin up here, don't receive what God wants to do or listens to God. Amen. It's flesh. Amen. It does not subject to the law of God. Amen. It can't understand it. It's soul, it's dirt. All right, so I understand that. So when it starts speaking to me and telling me how I feel, no, 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 I don't feel that way. We walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Shut up in Jesus' name, you foul devil. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Amen. See, and you're thinking that your problem is your wife or your husband or the people you work with. It's your soul. Amen. Amen. Mm. 
It's sick. I didn't say that. The one you worship said that. Amen. He said the soul is sick. It's feeble. The spirit is ready. It's ready to do it. Ah, your soul, he said, is sick, weak, feeble. Amen. 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 See, please? So he says this in Matthew. Therefore, pray in this manner. He says, you want to know how to pray? This is how you pray. It is so easy. Amen. Yet the soul complicates it so much, don't it? Amen. Somebody said to me, yeah, Bishop, I can't just, I can't seem to pray. I said, okay, I'm going to give you some instructions. Are you ready? Well, I, I just, something, something, just tell me something. I said, okay. You like Christian music? He said, well, yeah. I said, okay. Uh, pick. Um, let's say, pick six songs. Pick six of your favorite songs. Do you have six favorite songs uh, from a Christian artist? Mm -hmm. Yes, probably more than that, you know. Like this one, this one. Okay. I said, use those six songs as your prayers. Amen. They said, what? I said, yeah. Whatever the song is playing, you pray that. So the song is is the song the, the the song is saying I worship you almighty God tell them I worship you almighty God there is none like you there is none like you Amen. I said okay and the second one whatever your favorite song is Amen. well I like this one okay then pray that song he said what I said oh it's too easy huh? you figure each song is about three and a half minutes you figure Amen. times six, that's 20 minutes right there, just praying songs. Amen. 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 Did they take my advice? Hell no, they didn't take my advice. <laughs> because the soul wouldn't let them. Amen. Too complicated, too hard. It doesn't make any sense. Of course it doesn't make any sense. That's what the foolish man says. Amen. That's in the soul. Well, that don't make no sense. Well, if you're not praying at all, at all, wouldn't it be better to pray something? Amen. Amen. Nah, they didn't listen to me. But Jesus teaches us how to pray, see, please. Jesus said, pray in this manner. Our Father, we're in heaven. Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth that is in heaven. D, please. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Man, my God, if you take about three minutes on each one of those specific things he talked about praying. That's 30 minutes right there! Amen. 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 But you must monitor your soul because your soul is not going to want you to be faithful in prayer because prayer, 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 just prayer opens and, and breaks the, the delusion that he has over you. <clears throat> and faithfulness in prayer will help you monitor your soul's activity Amen. so then after you finish praying and you're you know let's say you pray in the morning and it's one o'clock in the afternoon and you're you know you're doing whatever you're doing and the soul just thinks this negative thought you go wait a minute what is that i don't think so no, no i don't think so no but don't pray don't read the word. Don't believe that your soul cannot understand the things of God. Man, you're in bad shape. Amen. Might as well put a seal on you and send you straight to the grave. You're done, cooked. Vamanos. Amen. You're no good for God. Now you're good for the devil because then you start speaking negative stuff. You start sowing negative stuff and people criticize it and speak of negativity and this and this and the stupid truck and the stupid house and the stupid job and stupid people and stupid this and stupid that stupid this and, and all this stuff. But wait a minute. Amen. I don't think there's that too many. I don't think there's that many stupid people anyway. <laughs> Come on now. Amen. And faithfulness in prayer will help you monitor your soulish activity. Say, oh Lord. See, that bishop, man. Come on, say it. I'm 
telling you why our church doesn't grow, right? Amen. Bishop, stop preaching something else. I wish I could. Amen. Many times I've said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, and I get right into the book. Get my nose all in the book. And then I start preaching. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. My soul, don't preach that, don't preach that. They're not going to like it. They're not going to come back. They're going to miss my stick. They're going to miss my stick. Shut up. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Start praying in tongues. Amen. 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 Oh, help me, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. This is a tough one. Say, come on, I'm used to it. Amen. Listening to you. Say it. Used to that. Or number four. Remind yourself that you must give an account unto Yahweh. I don't know what devil brought this teaching into the church, but it was a devil. That says that once you're saved, you ain't got to worry about nothing. That's not what the Bible teaches. Now, you're not going to hell. Somebody say amen. Thank God. Hey, praise God. Your, 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 your spirit is saved. Amen. Yes, yes, it is. And that's it. Now well, let's read the scripture and see what it teaches. Amen. Amen. Give me A under point number four. Remind yourself that you must give an account to Yahweh. A under point number four. There is no creature that is not revealed in his sight, Yahweh's sight. For all things are bare and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must give. An account. Amen. 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 Help me now. Amen. Amen. So okay, let me let me give you a scenario. I'm a I'm a serial killer, and there's plenty of those, and I butcher 15 people. I cut them into pieces and then put a little bit of hot sauce in them. <laughs> oh, guy ate people. And then somebody comes into my cell right before they fry me like churches fried chicken. And they say, hey, God will forgive you. And all you got to do is believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Now we can't stop the execution. But your spirit can be saved. Wow. And the serial killer says, wow, really? I killed 15 people, man. I ate their eyes with hot sauce and their ears with ketchup. No matter. All sin has been forgiven. Which is true. So you mean to tell me that all I got to do is accept Jesus and believe in my heart? Yes. Can't stop the execution now. You got to pay for that. But hey, your soul can be saved, your spirit can be saved. Amen. You mean to tell me that God is not going to judge that man? Amen. He's not going to stand before God? <laughs> what? Amen. Now he won't be condemned. Right. Amen. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, to whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world. He won't be condemned. But he's still got to give an account. That's right. Amen. 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 Look what you did to 15 families. Look what you did to 15 mothers. Look what you did to 15 fathers. Give me another scripture. Church looks a little bit like they don't believe me. Give me me, please. Amen. Jesus said, a good man out of a good treasure of his heart brings forth good things. An evil man out of an evil treasure brings forth evil things. And the word evil things means full of labors, annoyances, and hardships. Amen. Isn't that what the soul does to you? Amen. Annoyances, labors, and hardship. You say, well, I don't know. Well, let me talk to you Monday morning. 
Say, hey, it's Monday. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> Why do you hate Monday? Because I gotta go back to work. Amen. Oh, so you don't like making money? Yeah, I like making money, but I got to go to work. <laughs> you tell the people, dude, man, there, there's people praying for your job. Careful now. Right, man. Right, man. Full of labors and annoyances, Jesus said. See, please. No, this is Jesus speaking. But I say to you that every idol, the word idol means lazy, useless, and barren. But I say to you that every idle word, every lazy, useless, barren word that men speak, they will give an account on the day. Of judgment Amen. oh Lord D please by your words you will be justified and by your words you will be condemned Wow Amen. well let's give me another scripture yes E please Romans 14 for it is written as I live says the Lord every knee shall bow to me oh wait a minute that must be talking about worship well, let's read a little bit more. Every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God, so that each of us shall give an account of himself to God. Amen. What was the point? Let me remind you of the point before I give you another scripture. Point number four. We must remind ourselves, you must remind yourselves that you must give an account to Yahweh. 